Hey there planners, welcome back to the channel, Creating with Sarah. Today's video, I have for you a plan with me and my A5 compact vertical. So if you guys wanna check out this plan with me, then keep on watching. So hey there, I'm Sarah, all things creating, planning, yet keeping things fun and functional here on my YouTube channel. I love planning and staying organized, yet being creative at the same time. So today's video, I have my A5 Erin Condren. Um, this is a life planner, it's the Compact Vertical, and it's super cute. And I absolutely loved having my week planned out or having a planner <laughs> with a like, weekly view. Because if you guys have been watching my channel lately, I'm all about the EC Daily this year, like full on been using this and it's been great. Um, but I do like having a weekly view. I don't get to it all the time, but um, this is the new A5 size by Erin Condren and it is a new layout as well. So it's just been really great and I really loved how this, um, I did a plan with me, it was in a combined setup. So hopefully you guys checked it out. It, I think it is a little bit longer, but um, this was really fun. And I kind of want to do this again for this week. So it's super cute. And I also was able to use um, my fun pens. And those are the color changing brush pens by Erin Condren. Did I put them in here? I think so, because I wanted to... Um, these are a little bit longer, so I like using the Erin Condren bigger pencil pouch that they have. This is the one that you can sometimes customize the top cover, but it's like super roomy. It's got some compartments in there, but it's able to hold like longer planner pens like the Tombow ones. And these new color changing brushes by Erin Condren are super cool. And I, I put those in there as well. So I thought this would be fun to use as, to use again this week, and I think I want to go for the purple, but um, I just really enjoyed doing this spread, so I kind of want to do that this week. So we are going to be planning for the 17th through the 23rd, and I kind of want to take this bookmark out for a second. Okay, so for stickers... I wanted to do something fun, so I'm gonna use the Pixar um, stickers from Happy Planner. They did a collab with, with Pixar. Um, they've been doing collabs with Disney for a while now, and it's super cute. So I definitely want to do like a Halloween spread. And for pumpkins, I have the cheerful season. There are some pumpkins in here, and then a really great one is the Planny Thing Pumpkin Vibes. This one has all sorts of pumpkins and then some functional boxes so those are the stickers that i kind of want to use now i will kind of replicate last week just because i know kind of what i want to plan for and i like this whole system where i had my weather top three priorities i used one box for each day for like a event like a major highlight that i needed to make sure you know, focusing on. I put in dinners for this weekly layout and that kind of helps when I go to daily plan. And what else? Oh, practices. And then for the weekend down here, I use, you know, what's going on next week. So we have Disney, um, a Disney day, kind of like a day date. It was a really busy week for me, honestly. Um, I had home co, I had um, lots of practices and errands and uh, we had a meet and just birthday stuff so it was just a really busy week but let's go ahead and get started so I think the first thing to do is cover up these lines then we're gonna use some washi and then we're gonna move on to the weather okay so for washi let's see what would be a good one that would still match um, those stickers I do like using the smaller ones. Um, those tend to work a little bit better. So I could use this one or the bats again. The bats are just really great. You know what? I'm going to pull out my other washi from Simply Gilded real quick. 
uh, just because I really do want to use like these smaller ones are really perfect and so let me grab some other washi I have this little container and it sits on my other planner cart and this is all simply gilded like all my Halloween stuff and I know I have yeah so I have like some other foiled bats and I have the black and white one I have some skulls and then the neon ones are super cool So I don't know which ones I want to do. Let me see. For the stickers, I think I'm just gonna go with black and white. Ooh, maybe we should do, we should pick someone. So we have Dory and Nemo, we have Up, we have Monsters Inc, Eve and Wally, or Eva, sorry, Toy Story and The Incredibles. I think I'm gonna go with Monsters Inc. That would be so cute. So we can do, we can do purple, maybe like the purple bats, the black with the purple bats, that would be cute. Okay, so I'm gonna lay my washi down first. And I think I just went all the way across instead of you know separating it because it is the line has that separation there okay i'm looking for my cutter okay cute if you're new to my channel welcome again i love being functional and and um creative at the same time so i do i'm a hybrid when it comes to plating because this is just, I have a love for just, you know, the stickers and the washi and the pens and all of that. So I do take a little bit more time in my planning. But if you have a system down and you have everything ready in your office or wherever you plan, or maybe you have a bag with the things that you plan with, I think decorative planning can uh, be fun and it doesn't have to take a lot of time once you get your system down. Okay, now we can move to weather. And if I have enough, I really do like how I did it last week where I had these um, functional stickers that kind of fit super perfect up at the top. And oh my gosh, I've been doing this all the time. I slide my hands across my planner and I'm wearing a dark nail polish and it just, it just scratched it. So. Let me find my artist eraser so I can erase that. Oh my gosh. I don't know how I do that. Like, I just drag my hands all the time. Okay. So I've been using this journaling. Okay, so... This is the journaling sticker book by Happy Planner, and I use this for weather. Let's see if I have enough of those boxes. Don't have enough. So we can use these. Why not? I have so much of the stickers. So many of these stickers that I need to just use up. Oh my gosh, I need to put that on my list to do. I need to take this nail polish off. I'm so impatient when it comes to my nails. I don't go to the nail salon. I do sometimes, it's like the rarest thing. Like if I want peace and quiet because my nail place that I go to is just so quiet and I kind of get to zone out for an hour because it just, that's how long it takes and that's what kind of bugs me sometimes. So it's only like when I'm in the mood to just zone out. <laughs> Because other than that, I'm always so busy and I want to get things done. Um, and sitting there to get my nails done just takes forever. So I've been trying to invest in doing my own nails, but yeah, I'm just impatient when it comes to polish and stuff. Just put a line through and just split it for the low and the high. And 
And then next what I want to do is kind of doing all the functional stuff first. Um, but I put the washi down so that way if I needed to lay stickers over that, I can. So I think they're in the back of this planner. So I'm going to use the planner Kate stickers that I used last time because I have a, a bunch of these. And we're going to put top priorities on each day. So this is just a quick system that I just decided to go with and I kind of like it because I do have a daily which I put more of of what I'm planning. You know if I have to make a grocery list or uh, jot some ideas down or I put like more work things in the daily. I really like the daily. I love the fact that you can split it up and just get so much on one page. But here, I'm able to look a weekly view at my week, see what my top priorities are, see what major event is going on that day. And what I mean by that, it just, it could be the simplest things. You know, I'm a mom, stay-at-home mom, um, but I do do the, you know, influencing thing on the side for now. Um, I do have other things that I'm looking forward to at the end of the year towards next year. So anywho, I'm just saying like when I put a box with that major event, that's like, oh, is um, I have an appointment today or I have to do some important school things or um, I don't know, like homecoming prep I had to do, meet just something that's very important or whatever that takes up my day mostly. Okay, so we have top parties. I'm going to make my little boxes, and I'm actually going to use the Erin Condren, is it in here? Yeah, it's in here. Um, double um, ink markers. These are the highlighter ones. I've been using the purple ones, pulling all the purples just to play with, making it an effort and goal since I'm buying so much um, planner pens lately to use them. So I'm just going to make three little boxes here as my top priorities for each day. And sometimes they come out really wonky because I'm not the same shape. I have a stencil, I could use a stencil, but I'm just gonna do it myself. It is a lot faster. It's okay, I am not, that's why I don't draw. I'm more of a abstract person. Nothing is, the same like when it comes to my handwriting it's always different I know it's the weirdest thing okay so we have our priorities down we have the weather I'll do the weather um, after this video it's just a lot easier okay so next up is our box and then we'll kind of decorate for last so we need boxes for each day for our top priority or our top focus top event whatever the one thing that I need to to remember, hey, what's going on this day, Sarah, <laughs> type of thing. Okay, so I'm gonna look for some boxes. Um, I do have, of course, I'm trying to use Happy Planner stickers um, because that's what I have majority of. I figured since we're using the Pixar, why not? Except for the Planning Thing pumpkins because that's just a really good sticker book because it's all pumpkins. I think that's the coolest thing. Um, okay, so I have these and this one I've been trying to use up because I don't actually I don't even think this one has No, this is more decorative Yeah, okay, so that's not a good one Let's look in this one. I just want to use more color and right now I only have as the foil I think in black I've used a lot of these I Don't have too left. I could use these smaller ones. I think I may have an extra one, so I may need to go pull that out. I could not find colorful boxes, my other one, so I'm just going to make do with this one. However, I did grab my Wellness Warrior, or just, it's a wellness kind of slash fitness sticker book that I also want to make a priority to do something this week. 
If you guys have been watching me, um, I used to be like really good at keeping up with my fitness and exercising. Just lately it's been, oh my gosh, it's only been like two, I only get like two days out of the week just to have that time. Um, I just need to make a better effort um, of doing that. So yeah, I used to go like four to five times exercise that much, but anywho, okay. Use these black ones. And um, for meal planning, I'm also gonna use the Planner Kate utensil ones with these orange colored ones. Place them down here before I lay my other boxes down. Okay, so this is the weekend. Um, I usually don't cook on the weekends, um, but I'll put one on Friday. Did I go all the way through with, yeah, I didn't put anything on Saturday and Sunday. So I'm gonna put my boxes down. I was kind of wanting to put them like something fun, like this, maybe, I don't know, something different. Okay, there we go, that looks good. Okay, and the last thing I think I added for this week are practices. I'm gonna be able to fit that in or if I could do something a little different, oops. Saturday and then I do cover this section here on Sunday you get this large space which I feel like you can customize this and make it your own for anything you can change it up every week to something different I kind of use what's my next week's plan you can make this a master to-do list for the week like if you needed more space or if you wanted to use this as your dinner plans it's just anything that you like so for this do I want to make a checklist? Usually I use my daily planner for that. I may just do like, again, what's going on next week. Let me just see if there's a decorative box real quick to put down first. I think this would be cute. So I can use this to cover that up. I can use a larger box here of what's going on next week. I'll just use one of these bigger black boxes. Cute. Okay, and then for practices, or I can put down, I'll do practice. I, I know what she has for practice. Um, I'll just keep that up in my daily, but um, I'll use this for workouts so I can see a, a weekly view for my intentional workout. So this is an accessory pack from Happy Planner. Um, it's an old collection, but you may end up finding this at Joann's. I think they still have stuff like this at my store. But there's some cute icons in here that's related to exercising and workouts. So I can use a water bottle, a heart. Um, I have this little person walking so I'm gonna and they're holographic it's really hard to see so what I'll do is make space here so I'm definitely gonna do it Friday usually I used to do hikes on Fridays only because that was like my day to go to my special place to hike when I mean hike, I mean it's it's an incline. When I'm, I'm talking about inclining, not like a huge incline, but it's not like your flat trails. <laughs> so that's why I would dedicate that on Friday. Um, okay, Monday I'm not going to be able to. Tuesday I may in the afternoon, Wednesday. Only Wednesday, Thursday. Oh, not Thursday, unless it's in the morning. Okay. Saturday is a family thing, so maybe Sunday. Okay, so I'm gonna try 
Friday. And if I don't, I don't, but I'm just gonna put that there. Okay, Wednesday. I'm gonna try Tuesday evening. What I'm gonna do now is put like another checkbox. Okay, so I'll put a little check checkbox next to each one of these icon icons. Alright. So I probably will use the same pen to draw in my weather. So I'll put that out so I remember. So for these boxes, I'm going to use these brush pens because that's kind of what I did for last week. I just think that's really cool, except for Friday. I didn't grab it and I used my pen. I could probably go over that with the white um, tip side. That's what you use to um, change the color on these pens. I do have a full review and swatch um, on my latest Erin Condren video. But I kind of just do that. It's just something fun. And that way you can <laughs> utilize these in this way. You just put, you can put your favorite quotes using these in a box. Whoops. I'm going to use them for whatever I have going on. Now they are a little bit thicker though. They're not like the end here. It's kind of like, or maybe a little bit thicker than the dual tip if you're used to using these to write with. Oh, actually they're a little bit smaller and a little bit finer. Um, but again, it might be like a thing you have to practice because it's just a thicker end. And a lot of people, I don't think, like writing with a thicker marker tip, I guess. Oh, I almost messed that up. Oh, and I didn't even put one on Saturday. Okay. I'm going to put a swatch up here to write in for next week's plans or what's going on. Just to, maybe to keep me um, prepared. Because I think next week's Halloween, actually. Falls on Monday. Alright, so I think we have everything down as far as functional plans. Now I just can add some decorative stickers, which is the fun part. So we're going to use this one and either planty things for pumpkins or this one for cheerful seasons. Okay, we don't have a lot of space. I have space up here and then this section here, but maybe we can put some smaller box, smaller deco stickers. Okay, so for Monsters Inc, we have like these cute black and white ones. I just think they're really cute, especially for October. We have boxes and then this one does have boxes, like half boxes and not half boxes. Um, quarter boxes, but um, they have little icons on them. And of course, the vertical boxes. We we'll use these. And let's see, where can I put Sully here? Bottom there. I can fit Mike up here. No. Oh, I can put him right here. I'll put this little M right there. That's cute. I can put Boo down here. Also, if you wanted to add color to these, you could. You just put like a swatch of color down and then add your sticker over that. I love doing that with clear stickers. So if I wanted to, I could just do a swatch of green. You could each, you could actually like Kind of be more creative and just do a two t uh, do two swatches of different colors so you could do a dark and then a light of green um, you could do purple for Sully and then maybe pink for boo or something okay so now let's add some pumpkins if I can maybe just up at the top because I feel like I don't have much left. Um, like space. 
So we have like traditional colors, we have some harvest looking colors, we have the Halloween ones. And I like these fun purple and pink ones. These might be fun since I'm doing like mostly these colors. Cluster up here. I'll have to trim that one. Well, that's super cute. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and trim these pumpkins up at the top. More pumpkins to this side, and I'm gonna trim these. What I did with on this side is I just cut the bottom so that way I could have some of that stem at the top of the pumpkins instead of cutting the stem, because I, I like the look of the stem. I don't know if I can fit Sully up there. Maybe I can trim him somehow. Oh, that actually kind of looks neat because this is clear, so it looks like he's coming, running behind it. Okay, so I added my weather in. I'm kind of really excited about this weekend. We have really cool weather and we're dropping in the low 50s. I am super happy. Um, so that means we definitely will have a great cool, uh, chili cookout. That's going to be fun. So I'm going in the cheerful seasons. I'm gonna add, I think, the bats and the candy, if I can make it work. And then I'm gonna pull this other um, Monsters, Inc. little logo and put it somewhere. And maybe here at the bottom. I was trying to look for a quote, but there's no quotes in these sticker books and I already have enough pulled out. <laughs> so let's see, I can put a bat right here. I think there should be a cute little Halloween quote or something. Or maybe I can write one. Um, I'm going to use these candy corns just to give it a little bit more color. They're just super cute. I feel like I'm not a big candy corn fan, but they just give you that Halloween fun look, I feel like. And I'm going to add this bat right underneath or just right there and then um, I can move this one up a little bit just a tad more pumpkin right here or something a small one one okay I think that's gonna do it I hope you enjoyed this plan with me I think this is super fun um, and super cute and I love how everything is laid out very super fun and functional <laughs> and again for sticker books we use pumpkin vibes from Planny thing and the happy planner Pixar some simply gilded washi and cheerful season. So thanks so much for taking the time of your day to watch this plan with me. I hope that you will consider subscribing and give this video a like, and I will see you on my next video. Take care, stay safe, and happy planning. Bye.